Hello, everyone, and Happy New Year. Let me ask you one question that I want you to really be honest with me. Do you dedicate time each year to setting meaningful and measurable goals that you want to achieve? Or has it become an exercise you perform only because everyone says that you should? <laughs> I must be honest and say that that's been something that I've had to work on. However, this year, it's going to be different. This year, I'm challenging myself and I'm challenging each of you that are listening to put significant thought into each goal that you set. No more wasting time. And here's what's most important. We will set deadlines to complete each of the goals that we write down and document. So let me share just a few of my personal and professional goals with you. Did you know that it's really been one of my secret desires to create a speaking platform where I encourage people to work through their grief and through their pain to move into their purpose? You, you know what that's called, right? We call that good grief. And secondly, I bet you didn't know that I teach at a community college. Yes, it's true. No longer will I hold back on my teaching assignments. Uh, many of my students and my colleagues call me Professor C. And I'll create a greater awareness of my love for education and promote my Professor C segment more as I teach quarterly real estate seminars to my peers. And did you know that I am a gifted writer? And I'm going to toot my horn right here and say, yes, I am. <laughs> this will be the year that I create the first of many ebooks. One personal goal that I will work on is to celebrate my gifts and celebrate my talents. I will practice saying I'm a resource. I'm going to say I'm smart and I'm enough. And sometimes, y'all, it's really difficult to say that you are an expert and great at something. Yet this will be the year that I raise the confidence bar. Is that an area that you need to work on too? I'm sure deep down we all can say yes to that. Each day, I want us to say affirmations that encourage you and elevate you and your way of thinking, your way of being, doing and operating. Now here's something else that we're gonna do. Share your goals with someone who will hold you accountable. No longer will you create vision boards that you don't post in plain sight each day. No longer will we start projects that we just never ever get around to finishing. And I'm going to tell you the reason is because this is the year of intentionality. And it's the take action year. Each quarter, we're going to evaluate a goal. And we're going to determine if we're on target or if adjustments need to be made. And we will meet once a month with our accountability partners to recap our triumphs and our challenges. Now, before I conclude, let me just share this tip I heard Steve Harvey say. And I listened to him quite a bit, and I'm very impressed with what he says. He said, he mentioned that he keeps his goals before him so that he can read them every day. In fact, he says he reads them several times a day. Whenever he looks at his phone, he has them on his screensaver. He says he also posts them on a whiteboard in all of his offices and his workspaces, no matter what city he's working in. He said by seeing them and reading them out loud, he keeps them top of mind. And he says it keeps him striving to achieve each goal. So let's take a page out of the Steve Harvey playbook and out of the word of God. And in the word of God, it says, let's write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it. The vision is for a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, the word of God says, wait patiently for it will surely take place. 
It will not be delayed. It will come right on time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the beginning of believing in the gifts God placed in you for your great success. So I say, go be great.